guys, this is Giravar bringing you another Blender tutorial. And this time, I'm going to be doing a nice, simple, like, keyboard shortcuts and basic movements in Blender. This video was requested to me by Dav, the Dav Mike, who commented on my Blender basic video and asked me to do uh, another type of video. I do read the comments, and if you ask a question in them, I ask a question or request a video, I will answer the question and do the video as well as I can, okay? So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe as I do read the comments, just so that that's clear. Okay, so you just wanna open up Blender. The first thing you need to know is the scroll wheel on your mouse is to look, zoom in, and out. And if you hold the scroll key, if you hold the scroll button on your mouse, and move the mouse around you could orbit around your shape or whatever you made but um the thing the reason why i can't do that is my mouse doesn't work like that it has this thing where you press the mouse button down it doesn't work properly so i'm going to be getting a new mouse until then if you just hold the mouse button and move it around you orbit around the shape or whatever you made so it's a useful feature the other useful feature which is very easy and very effective is you hit the a key to deselect and A key to select everything. Tab key to go into edit mode, tab key to go back into object mode. Now once in edit mode, deselect everything. If you hit the B key, you get the sort of X, Y centering around your crosshair sticky point. So if you left click and drag, so let's say select corner, and then, and then right click on it, you can just drag it around. And then left click to select. Now Blender it's slightly weird. Instead of left click to select, it's always sort of like the right click to select. So it's like right click to select and left click to confirm. And then on these arrows, you can just move it along these axes by using the left click axes. Is that a word? I don't think that's a word, but still, anyway. So now that you understand that, the other thing you're going to need to know is the E key. E key, oh no, yep, the E key, yep. So if you go down here, once in edit mode, you can select a different type of things you want to select. So here I've got the corner selected, line edge mode selected, or face selected. If I selected the face section and right click on this face, and if I hit the E key, you can extrude the surface out. And if you heard to hit the different axis names, like Y, you can extrude it in different directions, Z, X, yeah. That's the E key. The other good thing is if you hit the Z key, or deselect everything, and if you hit the Z key, you go into what's called wireframe mode. And basically what this means is that you can select lines which you wouldn't normally be able to see in this mode. So Z key wireframe, Z key normal mode. So as you can see, I can't see that line I just selected, but if you hit the Z key, you can see it now. That's another useful feature. The other useful feature is that if you select everything and hit the G key, you can just move it around and then left click to, left -click to confirm, like so. And now the other good thing with the G key, is if you just want to move it up a certain axis, if you hit the Z, you go with Z axis, X, you move along the Z X axis, Y, you move along the Y axis. Those are very simple and easy to use. Some other good ones is that if you hold shift, if you hold shift, let's say, just go into corner mode to show this more clearly. If you hold shift and select one corner and select another corner and let's say another corner after that, then if you hit G key, you can move all those corners, the only the corners you selected at once. So that, that's another very useful tool. The other useful tool is that normally when you watch Blender tutorials, there aren't many 2.60 tutorials. And they usually say you hit spacebar, add, mesh, plane, and you hit spacebar on here, it goes to this messed up thing, which, you know, you don't want that. It's totally different on here. Instead, what you do is you go shift, A, add mesh, and then add plane. In edit mode, the only thing you can add are meshes, like plane, circle, cube, cylinder, like those sort of things. But if you go into object mode and hit shift A, you can add mesh, curve, surfaces, speaker, another camera, force field, group instance, loads of other stuff. 
Now if you were to select both the camera and the thing and hit control P, you can parent them together. So if you were to move this somewhere, then the camera would follow it. That's another good thing. And if you just hit, if you were to select both of them again and hit control S, nope, wait, nope, not that. Shift S, you go to select grid, so you can select the center of the grid selection cursor so everything moves to where your cursor is so if i were to do that again then everything moves there then cursor selected cursor to center cursor to grid cursor to that one yeah so as you can see that's another useful thing now those are really the basic ones you need to know so remember to rate comment and subscribe as i do read the comments and yeah those are the basic basic things you really need to know in blender so yeah ne so next time you watch a tutorial which doesn't explain things so well you won't be as confused as you normally would oh yes and the other thing is if you click here you can change the different modes you're in here you go from game to render file save and then here you just get a load of object tools and in here they have a load of shortcuts which I don't need to go over. But the thing is you do want to know if you find something like let's say you want to scale something. If you hover your mouse above it it will tell you the shortcut. So the shortcut of scale is S. I'll just show you that now because that's a nice simple one. So you hit B select oh wait one sec. So you've just selected everything hit the S key just moved your mouse up and down you can scale things up and down you can also switch them as you can see there what i'm doing from like just sort of flip them invertedly now the other thing is good let's say translate shortcut g origin shortcut shift control alt c so if you just hover your mouse above things they will tell you what their shortcut is and i do believe there is a way so if i were to go rotate r just select that you can change the shortcut to anything you want. So instead of R, I could have G. I could have R again, because, you know, I just like R. R is the easiest one. R. Okay, so I hit R. Then I can just rotate things around and round and round, just like that. So, yeah, guys, that's basically the basic things you need to know in Blender. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to tell all your friends, rate, comment, and subscribe. As I do read the comments, and I do amazingly like your likes and subscribe. So, thank you all for watching, and remember to come back in and watch all my other videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.